Hey team, welcome to this next video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my putting. I'm gonna talk about the things that I'm working on and currently focus on, my tendencies, my strengths, and my overall putting game. So hopefully you can see a bit of an insight into what I'm working on myself, how I go about fixing my weaknesses, and how I want to maintain my strengths when on the green. Let's get into the video. So we're gonna break this down into two parts. As you can see here, I've got you on in the face on view to start with. Then I'm gonna move the camera in the down the line position. And in each position, I'm just gonna show you what changes I'm working on from the face on view and then from the down the line view. So firstly, with the face on view, in terms of the first thing and probably the main thing that I'm always focusing on when I set up to a putt, and that's my grip. So once I'm in that setup, I just need to ensure that my right hand is a bit more on top because what I do is I get my right hand sitting a bit too far underneath, okay? So I can still see my left thumb now. So a good checkpoint for me is if I can't see my left thumb now, that means my right hand is in a good position. The reason for this is because when I get a little bit too much underneath with the right hand, that causes more of a push miss, just where that right hand is too far underneath, causing that open face at impact and then causing that push. So by me getting my right hand a little bit more on top of the grip, that just keeps that face a little bit more neutral at the top and then square at impact. And also just having that right hand a bit more on top just makes me feel a bit more compact, especially on the long putts. Feels like I've got a bit more control when I've got my right hand in that position compared to when it's underneath. Secondly, and what I believe is the most important part for pace putting is just the general flow to the stroke. So sometimes with myself, I can find that my backstroke gets a little bit slow on the way back, not necessarily short in terms of the length, but more in terms of the, the timing, sometimes gets a little bit slow. That causes maybe for me to not build up enough power on the way through, so I leave it short. That causes me to not build up enough power on the way back, so then end up leaving it short, which is quite a common miss for myself. But also what it can cause, if I have a quite a slow backswing, is I can get a little bit too quick then through the ball, and that can actually make the ball go too far, and just make distance control in general feel quite tough. So once I've got my right hand more on top, I'm then just trying to feel that I've got a nice smooth flow, especially from when I have that initial takeoff. I'm really trying to feel that when I lift the putter off the ground and take the putter away, I'm starting it at a fairly fast speed, just because my tendency is to be too slow. And when I feel like I've got a nice fast tempo on the way back, then I can bring it through nice and smooth. And that just balances out my tempo and just gives it a lot more flow instead of being slow on the way back and then coming through to it too quick. So a drill that I like to do just to help with that even when I'm on the course as well and in my practice routine, I just like swinging the putter back and through, no matter what length of putt I have, just because that really focuses me on having that nice quick backswing. And then again, having a very nice smooth flow to the stroke. So I'll do a few flowy swings like that and then try and put that exact same feel just into the putt. So now moving on into the down the line view and just the things from this view that I like to focus on when I'm filming myself putt. The first thing that I like to ensure is that when I set up to the ball, I feel like I've got a nice tilt with my spine angle and my eyes are directly over the ball. Sometimes for me, I get a little bit too upright with my spine angle and that actually brings my eye line more inside. So you can see when I move my spine angle down, that then moves my eyes further over the ball. So it's just about trying to find your tilt. You don't want to be too upright because then you're going to be inside and looking through your nose. And again, you don't want to be too over because then that can actually cause you to be on your toes and to have your eyes do for over the ball. So I just like finding that balance. I like trying to feel that I've got my weight 50-50 with my feet, right in the balls of the feet as well. And just ensuring that I've got a nice spine angle tilt so my eyes are over the ball. And I'm just feeling like if I drop the ball from my eye line, it's going to land on that that ball line. From there, when I'm setting up and I feel like I've got that posture, I've got my grip, the last thing when it comes to the setup is just ensuring that my hands are in the right position. Because my hand position is going to dictate the lie angle of the putter. So if my hands are too low, that's going to mean that the toe of the putter is in the air. And, and if my hands are too high, that's going to mean the heel of the putter is in the air. So I just like to feel 
a little bit more toe down if anything i feel like that just keeps my path a little bit straighter but it's only going to be by maybe one degree or max two degrees down toe down so i generally like to feel fairly flat i don't want to be too top and i don't want to be too toe down so once i've got my setup there once i feel 50 50 in the feet my eyes over the ball my right hand on top of the grip then the last thing at setup is just trying to get them hands in a nice position when I've hit all of them points, I feel far more confident that I'm in the correct position. From there, it's just about bringing that flow into the putt and ensuring that my stroke timing is good. That's gonna give me the best possible opportunity to only start the ball online, but then have some good pace control. So let's try and uh, replicate one. So we've got eyes over the ball, 50-50 feet, right hand on top, hands in a nice comfortable position, feeling maybe a little bit more toe down. Whether I'm actually toe down or not, I'm not sure, but that is the feel for me. And then from there, just going to ensure that I've got a nice quick backstroke and I'm just going to give it a nice good roll. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little insight into what I like to work on with my putting and my main focuses. This can sometimes change, but usually in say the last few years, I've kept the same feelings and thoughts because I know my tendencies, I know where my weakness is at. So if I can just keep on top of these things regularly, then I'm just gonna ensure that I just maintain that good level with my putting. Obviously the more time you put into it, the better it's gonna be and the better you're just gonna be at putting in general, but technically they're the things that I feel like I need to keep in check to ensure I can sight the ball online and have good enough distance control. So obviously you can see that I've listed out a fair few things. This is really important when you're focusing on your own putting to have this knowledge of your own game yourself, whether it's with your putting or your driving or your iron play. I've listed about four or five things there that, that have taken me time to kind of understand what areas I need to work on and what areas are my weaknesses. And that's what I suggest that you guys do. Try and understand your game, try and understand what areas need the work with each part of the game, and then be proactive in working on them. So thank you for watching. If you can like and subscribe, that'd be amazing. And I will see you in the next video.